I'm broke, but I'm happy. I'm poor, but I'm kind. I'm short, but I'm healthy. Yeah. I'm high, but I'm grounded. I'm sane, but I'm overwhelmed. I'm lost, but I'm hopeful, baby. And what it all comes down to is that everything's gonna be fine, fine, fine. Hey, everybody, it's me, Jessica, and I'm just here to say hello and um, let you know how I'm doing. Uh, first of all, I wanted to um, share my story about why I started HCG. Lisa Lou 40 um, actually shared her story about a week ago, and I wanted to share mine also. Um, the reason I started HCG was a combination of a lot of things, but I'll go ahead and get started at the beginning. Um, for about 13 and a half years, I worked at... Uh, I had a full-time job where I worked nights, weekends, mornings. It was a little bit of all, all kinds of shifts. And um, I was actually a restaurant manager, and I was in charge of um, hiring people, training people, and all the scheduling that went into the restaurant. So it was a lot of work and um, a lot of dedication. A lot of dedication. A lot of my time went into that. And I, I loved my job, and I loved working a lot also. I was a little bit of a workaholic, if you can say. <laughs> but um, anyways, I, I really used to like working, and, um, but I decided that I had to reevaluate things and put my health and my family first. The reason was because um, I was working so many hours in the restaurant. I only had about one weekend off a month. So I hardly ever got to do anything fun on the weekends with my kids. And you know, kids grow up fast. I have a, one kid that's 12 and one that's five. So, I mean, time passes by really fast. A lot of times during uh, the summertime, I, you know, I felt really bad because the summertime I was stuck at work all the time and my kids were stuck at daycare during the morning. And you know, that, that's really sad because I really wanted to do things with them but I also wanted to work. So as time went on, um, uh, I started putting on weight because um, just all my hours that I was working and I would get home so tired that I would just bring home uh, food from the restaurant for all of us to eat. So my weight just started piling on because I would work all day long and I wouldn't eat. And at night, when I would get home, that's when I would do all my eating. It was like, eat, 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 eat. Um, um, and that's mostly when I started piling on all this weight. So, because I would eat so late, then go to sleep. Then um, one day I ended up, I was at 246 pounds. I mean, and um, that's the most I have ever weighed. So one day I decided, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and join the gym and um, try to lose some of this weight. But it was so hard, I was just doing everything I could possible and nothing was happening. Um, I thought some things that I thought were healthy, then I know aren't healthy now because I know they had a lot of hidden sugars in it and that explains the reason that I wasn't losing weight. So um, anyways, I joined the gym and I was, just doing easy workouts like the bikes and, and um, the, just like the, you know, the treadmill, but just light workouts. Not anything really hard because I was just getting into it. And then uh, one day, I when I had a weekend off, finally, one Sunday, we decided to go to the flea market. And we were there for about 30 minutes, and I felt like I was going to pass out. It was like the worst feeding, feeling ever. My heart was pumping real fast. I felt like I was going to just lay there and pass out. My face was all red. Um, I couldn't keep up. I could not keep up with my family, and I ruined that whole day. It was the worst feeling ever because my family was picking on me that day. And, you know, they said, well, you're going to the gym. You should be able to keep up. What do you go and do at the gym? Whenever you go, you must just be talking. You know, that really hurt because I was trying to do something to lose weight, but it wasn't happening. So 
So, you know, those words stuck with me. And then I decided, you know what? It's time for me to put my family and my health first. So after working my job, basically from 1996 to 2010, I decided, you know what? It's time for me to, to just let it go. Let it go. It's time for me to put my health first and my family first. So that's what I decided to do. So I went ahead and gave my job like a, a one month notice and then let it go. It was the hardest thing for me to do because um, I was with them for so many years. So it was a big old change in my life. All I have always, I, I've always known, you know, work, 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 work. So it was like a complete 360 degree change to my life. So um, then I had more time on my hands. And I all, all um, during this time, I was also having a lot of back problems. I had a lot of pain in my back, and it was due to my weight. Pain in my back, pain in my legs. Um, so I went to the doctor, and the doctor um, told me that I had high blood pressure, and she prescribed med medication for me. And that was like a, a eye-opener right there. That was like the biggest eye opener ever. I couldn't believe that. Being, you know, in my 30s and having to take medication. So that's when I decided that it was time for a change. So after that, um, I just tried to eat healthier and then um, I decided to go ahead and take care of my back problems. So since I had all this spare time in my hands and I was a and now I was a stay-at-home mommy, which was totally new to me because I've never experienced that before. Um, all, all during the time, you know, I've always worked, like I said. But um, decided to put myself first, and I went to the, the chiropractor and started getting some adjustments, and my back started feeling better. And all of a sudden, uh, one day, they decided that they were going to start this new program. And um, they had this little seminar on it, and I went to it, and it was the HCG program. And I was so excited about it because they, you know, they explained everything about the HCG. And um, it was the drops. It was about little drops. And I talked to my husband, and I told him, you know what, um, please, um, I really want to do this diet. I told him, this is, I know what I want for my birthday. This is what I want for my birthday. Okay, like I said, um, I told my husband, I know exactly what I want for my birthday this year. I don't want cake, I don't want cookies, I don't want to go out to eat, I don't want flowers. I want to do this HCG diet that my chiropractor's offering. Because um, I told him I think it, it'll really work for me. And um, what, this, is a, this is a package that everything came in, so. It was cute. It was like a, a little birthday present, but this is actually the way they, they they gave everything out. It actually came, it's empty now, but what it actually came with was, um, in this little box was a, the little HCG drops, a cup for water, a measuring tape, and a, a book for the first month, like a little journal, and it tells you everything you can eat, what you're supposed to eat, what you're not supposed to eat, so, and then, um, it was $199 and like a whole month uh, consultation where they would help you out if you had questions or anything like that, weigh-ins and everything. So it was really good. I mean, that was the best investment I've ever made. So, um, and it, it's really paid off. Actually, um, found another place where I get them a, a cheaper than that. They're about 40 about $45 or so, so they're not that much, and they last about 40 days, so we found a really good deal. My chiropractor started me out, and I mean, he's so, he's like the nicest person ever. He's so supportive, and um, he just kept encourage, encouraging me to keep going, and I appreciate him for that, so that's my story. That's why I decided to do HCG, because one day found myself at 246 pounds 
another day found myself that that I had high blood pressure you know it just like my life was just it wasn't I wasn't happy it wasn't at a place that I wanted to be I just wanted something better for myself because I, I never put myself first and finally I decided you know what it's time for a change you need to put your, yourself first you need to put your family first everything else can everything else can wait this is the most important thing for you now and I'm happy to say that I've stuck to it and I'm doing great and I'm happy my family's happy and I'm doing this for them and I'm doing this for me also so that's my story I hope you all enjoyed it.